Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this trigonometric function sine of pi square root of x divided by 7 equals to 1 and now we are going to solve for x. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And now let's recall this fact. If sine of x equal to 1, then x has a values pi over 2 plus 2k pi where k is an integer. So therefore our this given function could be written as pi square root of x divided by 7 equals to pi over 2 plus 2k pi. All right. Now we are going to solve for x. And the very first thing we are going to do is we are going to multiply by this reciprocal which is 7 over pi on this side and 7 over pi on this side. And we can see this 7 and 7 is gone. So this pi and pi is gone. So therefore on the left hand side we ended up with just the square root of x equal to now let's go ahead and distribute these uh, terms over here so we can write this thing as pi over 2 times 7 over pi and then plus 2k pi times 7 over pi now we can see that this pi is cancels with this pi and this pi is gone with this uh, pi. Therefore we got square root of x equal to 7 divided by 2 plus 14k. And let me go ahead and call this equation as number 1. Now let's notice that this square root of x, this square root of x cannot be negative. That means it's going to be either 0 or greater than 0. So that means the right hand side this one 7 divided by 2 plus 14 k is also going to be greater than or equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and move this 7 over 2 on the other side. So that means this 14 k is greater than or equal to negative 7 divided by 2. Now we wanted to isolate k so let me go ahead and multiply by 1 over 14 on this side and 1 over 14 on this side. This 14 and 14 is gone so we ended up k is greater than or equal to on the right hand side if we simplify that is going to be negative 1 over 4. So thus we conclude that k is a non-negative integer. So in other words k is greater than or equal to 0. And here's our next step. Let's focus on our this equation 1. And here I have copied down our equation 1. Let's go ahead and solve for x. So let me go ahead and remove this uh, square root. So I'm going to take the square on this side and square on this side as well. So this square and square root, they are gone. So x turns out to be simply 7 divided by 2 plus 14k whole square, where k is a non-negative integer. So thus our final solution turns out to be x equal to 7 divided by 2 plus 14 k whole power 2 where k is a non-negative integer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.